leaders have gathered in Berlin for the Libya Peace Summit, which aims to broker a ceasefire in North African uh, Libya's nine-month-old civil war. Stakes have risen with the closure of the East Libyan oil ports, a move which has cut the nation's crude output. The Russian President half. Vladimir Putin is also in Berlin for the talks. He held a meeting with the Turkish President Recep Erdogan on the sidelines of the Libya summit. Earlier, the U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo arrived in the German capital as well. He said that the priority is to stop the fighting in Libya, which is now intensifying. Leaders of countries backing both the internationally recognized Tripoli government and the Eastern Base Commander General Haftar will also be attending the summit. Meanwhile, Turkey, which sent in its troops to help Tripoli fend off General Haftar's Libyan National Army and NATO allies, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has said that he expects the summit to produce some concrete developments in many fields, including security and economy. He said that a United Nations supervised election in Libya will be a positive development. Stakes running high, the talks are extremely crucial, aiming to pave the way for lasting peace in Libya. Remember, earlier summits, including the recent one in Moscow, have failed to do so. Most nations involved in this conflict are expected to be at the summit in Berlin and controls much of Libya, including a majority of its oil fields, is in the back by Russia, Egypt, Saudi Arabia and the UAE. France, too, is set to have provided support to the renegade commander, while Siraj's government, which controls a tiny part of the country, his government of the National Accord is also set to be close to Italy. The European powers aim to stabilize Libya to control the influx of refugees from, African, uh, from Africa and the Mediterranean. This as thousands of refugees attempt to travel to Europe via sea from Libya, which lacks proper... Meanwhile, tribesmen loyal to General Haftar have refused to open the oil fields until an agreement is reached on crude exports. General Haftar had accused Tripoli of using oil revenues to pay foreign fighters. The Libyan envoy to the United Nations also has said that the issue of the closure of oil ports is likely to be raised. Uh, if, if, if the thing is not solved between today and tomorrow, I expect the issue to be raised, yes. Now I can't uh, compel any head of state uh, to raise this rather than that issue, but uh, I won't be surprised that raise the necessity of keeping the neutrality of the National Oil Company in place. And that's why we have this building conference, to tell Mr. Haftar and to tell others that the international community, it is true that many countries have been supporting the war on this side or on the other, they have come to the conclusion, I hope, uh, that, uh, that uh, they are taking a big risk by fueling this war.